Hello folks, Abfielder here, episode 35 on the Strangecraft server and we're back over at the monument. I really need to come up with a better name for this thing. But at the end of the last episode we had got the monument up to this point and we found out it got magical powers. I hit something with a trident from distance. And it's okay folks, normal service has been <laughs> resumed and uh, yeah, I still can't. Yep, no, it's completely gone. Alright folks, let's get into the episode. So the plan for today's episode on this area is we're going to work on the entrance and I made a start on this next so I'm starting to wrap the the walls yeah the walls <laughs> we're starting to wrap those around now and uh, yeah we've got a wandering trader here as well for some reason and yeah so I've started to wrap that around so the entrance is going to be quite wide I think um, we're going to do the landscaping last so the landscaping is going to be like mountains around this place so it'll all come together towards at the end I've got in my mind's eye what it's going to look like and uh, so I think the next step is just to do a little bit of mining and bring the wall round from the, the right hand side as we're looking at it there so we'll uh, we'll crack on with that so I have now wrapped around the right hand side and we're just flying up and this is clearly not the best angle let's uh it does look better though now it's wrapped around let's see if we can it looks a bit too wide that entrance like I think I should extend the circle round, match it up a little bit more with the with the statue there. It just let's let's land and let's just yeah. It just looks a bit too wide. I think it needs to be a little bit narrower. So if we match it up with this kind of cut out the, in the cliff, I think that will look a lot better. So I'm going to go out and clear even more of this area and build that up a little bit more. But I felt like a change of scenery and I've been watching Fast Jazz's latest Strange Craft video on YouTube and he did something that I did not know you could do. I've been playing Minecraft for years, I did not know you could do this. So I need a Mending Book and I need an Unbreaking Free Book. Okay, I'm going to craft up a bunch of these. I always need these, I never have any in stock. So that was Mending and we need Unbreaking Free and we'll do the same. We'll craft up 12 of these things, or we'll purchase 12 of these things rather. And then I'm going to combine them. There we go. And break the anvil apparently. I had no clue you could do this to a flint and steel. None. And it's not like I need to do it. I, I've got unlimited iron and, it, and flint's not exactly difficult to get hold of. I just never knew you could do this. Thanks Fast Jazz. If you're enjoying the Strange Craft series by the way there are a bunch of other strangers on the server who make YouTube videos and do live streams as well. The links for all of them will be down in the description below and if you fancy joining the Discord server as well I'll put a link for that down in the description if it lets me. Last time I did that I can get the link off the Discord channel but I will do my best. Back on track anyway, I have extended or narrowed the entrance and then I've started to wrap the walls around and headed towards the the north. Yes, the north. And uh, I'm just collecting up these resources here. I wouldn't normally do this. I wouldn't normally collect resources and this is why I never have them, but I kind of need them for this project so it makes sense to pick them up. And there we go, you can see how I've wrapped the walls around and that's going to be a staircase down there. I'm never, like, I never do this, like, the, I mean, I TNT you my holes for a starter, which doesn't help, but I just always run out of resources. This is looking super, super cool, and um, let's see if we can fly in. So it's going to be down at this level, there we go. So let's, we may need to bring it down a couple more, actually, because I want it level with the water. And let's be a good Minecraft to pick up all our resources. The walls are looking cool. They're a very familiar pattern using Tweakaroo to, to get that random block. I may, well, I will. I say I may. I will. It's obviously all very plain at the moment and um, it needs detailing and what have you. That's always the plan to do at the end. So don't worry too much about the fact that it's a little bit plain at the moment. This sort of structure down the bottom where we've got little caverns that we're going to put statues i think i'm going to bring that round towards the entrance i'm not going to completely wrap it around just sort of straight off from where it is at the moment but this place looks so so cool i am so pleased with how this place is is shaping up i'm looking forward to working on it in future episodes so uh yeah right okay what's next so what's next is I've come over to catch his base because his face looks funny on the tab menu so I figured he got a new skin and he's, he's now bald. 
But he's just showing me, like, this is a learning episode. Like, that is, that is some serious gypsy magic. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> How is he doing that? It's like he's stripping naked. What's he doing? Why has he got no mouth? Uh, he's, is he bolder than me as well? I, I mean, I'm pretty bald. <laughs> Also, his base is looking fantastic. I am trying to encourage Catch to do silent YouTube videos. Catch doesn't speak, he's the silent Minecrafter. No one knows what he sounds like. How's he doing that? So, I mean, I've already learned flint and steel today. I need, I need a new lesson. How are you doing that, Catch? Come on, tell me your secrets. <laughs> what is your gypsy magic? If you're wondering what that fishing rod is, folks, we've got the data pack on so that you can uh, you can rotate terracotta after you placed it. It's so, so useful. Because if you've ever done any builds with terracotta, it's an utter, utter pain. How's he doing it? Tell me how you're doing it. Wait, so he's doing it in skin customization? Skin customization. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, left sleeve, right sleeve off. Oh wow, you can just about see that through the, the menu, that is immense. Also, this skin, so Cappy did this skin, he's a member of our Discord, and uh, I have to say that that skin looks absolutely mean, <laughs> without, with like, if I go sleeveless, like it looks like I mean proper Viking business, I am utterly going to be doing that if I have to do any PvP with players in the future. Wow. All right, I've stripped completely naked in Catch's base. Apparently that's weird. I don't think that's weird. It's completely normal behavior. Continuing on my theme of procrastination, I woke up this morning and uh, I noticed that Carnage had just rage quit the server. He'd been blown up by a creeper and then he went back to get his stuff and got blown up by a second creeper. <laughs> and then he quit. And then, then he let us know on the Discord that he quit. So uh, last night there was a thunderstorm on the server. Not in real life. There was a snowstorm in real life. Or snow. Uh, <laughs> and I got a couple of extra creeper heads. So uh, I've left him a little present. Actually, Cyber's left him a present. I've left him a wind-up kind of thing. I've left him this creeper statue. Now, you may or may not know, but Carnage and Cyber built a new creeper farm on the server that generates around about 100,000 gunpowder per hour. So... <laughs> I left him a sign from the creeper leader. I'm hoping when he comes back on the server he finds this in good humor. I'm sure he will. It'll be absolutely fine. I'm utterly confident. Anyway, Cyber's left him that wonderful little present there. So that's it's all cool. <laughs> anyway, he's always present when he pranks me. So it's completely his own fault. <laughs> right, folks. Anyway, we are pretty much at the end of episode 35. Yeah, 35. We got a little bit done at the monument, then we got not a lot else done because we were too busy messing around on the server. So it's been a little bit of a bitty episode, and now I'm going to push. Cyber seems to have gone AFK, so I'm going to I'm gonna push him into the water. Oh, no, wait, he's not, <laughs> he's not AFK. All right, I won't push him into the water. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, folks, what did I want to say? Yes, I knew what I wanted to say. Folks, we hit 100 subs, 100 subs. It's something I was really, really pushing for. A big, big thank you to everyone that subscribed. And as you know, I ran a competition to uh, to name a building after someone who commented on a video. So I always record my videos a couple of weeks in advance. So I recorded this on the 8th of January. I hit 100 subs two days ago, I think. And so it's gonna be a couple of weeks before I do the video that I promised that I would do. So. In the next video, I am going to be ded dedicating, I am going to be designing the museum on my base and then I'm going to be dedicating that to a random person who commented on that video and we're going to try and get their skin into that museum as well. I'm really looking forward to doing that so I'm going to be really busy designing that building folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, that's all I've got time for anyway, I'm Abfielder, goodbye.